Hi, welcome to MTG Oracle. I'm your host, Nick Muhammad. Today, we've got some uh, of the new set, Throne of Eldraine, and we're going to be opening some product. I actually got a couple of these collector's packs. I think it's because I pre-ordered one of the boxes, but those don't come out till next week. But anyway, I also got a case of the regular set here, and I figured we could turn this into a teaching moment because I actually dropped it. It fell off the table, it fell about four, uh, three or four feet. So we can take an in-depth look at the wizard's packaging and see how it holds up to uh, normal wear and tear. That'll be fun, right? So I don't know if you can see this, but this is the sealed packaging, and you got to inspect it before you open it. Make sure there's no tampering. Now, generally, with new new cards, you'll get um, you'll get a better deal if you get it as a case. And I know it's a lot to outlay all at once, but if you get like five or six of your friends together and each get a box, you'll save a little money. And you generally get uh, buy a box promos. Now, this one is Kenrith, the Return King, and uh, you get one when you pre uh, order for pre-release. With the box, it's a, uh, and sometimes they, be, they can become a lot more valuable. Um, generally, I think this is uh, selling right now for twenty dollars. So when you take that out of the bottom line, sell it on eBay or something, or uh, you know, back to the store, and you take that off to the the top of the cost, and you end up getting a box for like eighty bucks of a new set when it's most valuable. So that's what I try to do, go in with a couple of friends. Um, so, I'm going to take the one that's near the damage over here. You can see it over here. It's just a little bit, uh, ding. You know, it fell in the corner. I'm going to take that box out right now. So, as you can see, they come packaged like this. I'm going to hold it up a little. Nice, right? Let's take a look at the box on the corner. These all look fine. This one is at the top. It looks fine. This is right where the bent, and these are packaged pretty tightly. And you can see it got dinged a little bit, right? It's a little bit of uh, damage on the box, too. So now I'm getting a little worried. I thought it would be less. But it seems. Hopefully the packs are intact. Anyway. So there you have that. Put these away. I'll be back for you later, my pretties. So there you have it. We're going to open this up and see if the damage uh, affected any of the packs, but otherwise it's going to be a normal box opening. Um, and we've got, we're going to open this first. One of the collector's boosters. Um, so I opened one at the store, they gave me two. You start with a token, a foil token, and it's uh, two-sided, which is nice. And um, then you get nine commons and uncommons. Let's see, six uncommon, uh, six commons. Uh, and then you get, and here are my three uncommons. Uh, I lost one. Whatever. They're there. And I think this is one of my commons. Yeah. And then you get three story frame cards, which are a different art, and they're pretty cool. You get one ancillary card, which can be from. This is a card that. You can't get in a traditional booster pack, so when you get lucky, it's something like the Biobox promo, this guy, Kenrith. Um, or it's like an Arcane Signet, which comes in one of the Commander decks. Uh, and then you get a Borderless Rare, or Mythic. Uh, special Extended Art. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and this one is Torban, Thane of Red Fell. He's kind of cool. I hope he goes up in value. And then you get a Foil Rare. Uh, and here, put that Clack Witch tool down there. And there you have it. That's what you can expect in uh, one of the Collector's Editions packs. They're basically super premium. You get, like, all foils or some sort of special deal. So I'm not sure if the buy a box, uh, uh, w the Collector's boxes are going to be worth it with their current price tag of around 300 and something dollars. But um, you've got a lot of cool stuff in it, and it's definitely fun to open. So we're going to go ahead and crack into this box, and I'll open another the, the other Collector's pack so we can see, we can all see what I get. And if, uh, disappointed So, we are going to be opening this, uh, collector's booster now. Alright, now, I've been seeing these go for about $30 each, so I was really happy when they told me that two came with it. 
So this is a food token. You can see. And let's flip that over. And it's a fairy. Ooh, that might be valuable. Um, and now these are upside down. So I probably opened it backwards. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. And these are just going to be all foil commons and uncommons. There we go. Uncommon. Ooh, epic downfall. Ooh, and improbable lines. And then there's going to be three special art cards or something. They're framed specially and um, they've got um, they're, they're framed specially and they've got different art. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, Flax and Intruder. Oh, this is Goldilocks basically. Queen of Ice which is uh, a pretty valuable common right now. We'll see. Ardent Veil Tactician. That's funny, I already got one of those in foil. And uh, it's the same. So I don't know. And then Steelbane Hydra, which I think is a card that's not. Uh, is the ancillary card. It's a card that's not available in standard packs, I think. Hushbringer Alternate Art, that might be worth something. And then Sorcerer's Spyglass. So there you go. There's my pack. Nothing uh, crazy, but the Hushbringer might be worth something. We'll see about that later. All right, now for the main event, and uh, first things first, I'm going to open this up and see how much damage there is from the fall. Um, I'm not too worried, but, you know, at the very worst, it seems like a handful, three or four packs might have been affected, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. All right. And they're all back here, so we'll start there. And uh, right, let's start here. Where the, where the fall took place? All right. This is probably where it's worse. So we'll start with this pack. Food token, land. Uh, ooh. It's a foil once upon a time, and this card is probably the most valuable rare right now. And a sundering struck. Okay, interesting. And then the uncommons. And then the commons. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Foil once upon a time. I'm going to put that in a sleeve right now. Because that's probably worth, like... 20 bucks, 30 bucks, I don't know. There we go. And, oh yeah, I was supposed to be checking this for damage. The cards aren't damaged. They, uh, it seems like two or three bucks is worth of, uh, let's check the backs. No, no major damage on these. And there you have it. So, without further ado, I'm going to start ripping into packs here. Uh, keep that right. Not anything. Alrighty. To it. Alright, token, land, Gadwick, the wizened. I don't think that's super rare. And then there's that. And let's take a look back here. Doesn't look like there's any damage. So, just because the box might have gotten a little crunched doesn't mean that. The cards were uh, compromised, which is really good to know. Right. Um, after this pack might be a good opportunity to make sure that our frame is set. Ooh, look, it's a on the on an adventure token. There you go. See that? Isn't that nice? Okay. Uh, another land. Mystical Dispute and the White Lands. I'm not too sure about these uh, land cards, these rare land cards yet, but uh, we'll see. Alright, here we go. Back to it. I'm going to go through these pretty quick and then I'll lay them out at the end. 
Alright. Uh, Worthy Knight. I don't know if that's worth anything. And that's a... Sp no, that's normal, I think. And... A uh, couple of interesting cards. They put the rare in the front now. I don't know if I like that. I like to build up to it, you know, with the commons first, but... We'll see. There's something different about these packs. They... F Ooh, well, forest. Ooh, Murder Shredder, that's worth a little bit. Nice. There you go. And, uh, let me lay these back out. These are some of the pulls from earlier. We'll just make a big pile of them. Oh. Alright, there we go. Let's keep at it. And I've been keeping an eye out for any damage, uh, from the dented box, and I don't see anything, so... Not super worried. Which is Vengeance? There we go. These don't open the same way as I'm used to, and that's why I'm having trouble with it, if you've noticed. Fae of Witches. I think that's one of the more valuable uncommons. I mean, uh, rares. And so, most of the money is in the Mythics right now, but, you know, these things go up and down as the set goes on. So we'll see if any of the rares break out. Alright, and... Faber Elder. I don't think that's worth anything. Let me just go through this real quick. There you go. I wonder if there's a way to speed that up. Ooh, the Great Henge. That's a mythic. Throw that on a sleeve later. Alright. Return of the Wild Speaker. Alright. Sorry. Ooh, Flames back in this set. I like that card. And we got a foil common, Wildwood Tracker, and Linden, the Steadfast Queen. I think that she's not great, so it's a little bit of a bummer. Oh, there's always next pack. And Castle Lockwain. Lockwain? I don't know. Alright, on to the next 12. That was pretty good for the first 12. I think we got more than 12 up local packs worth of stuff. And happily ever after, not worth anything. And I'm not sure about the commons and uncommons. I think there are a few that are worth a little bit. Oh look, up. Oh, makes an appearance again. Have a billion of time. Alrighty. Mirror Maid. This, is, I think, is one of the more valuable rares. Ooh, and this is definitely one of the valuable in Collins. Uh, Alright, Fairy Token. That's good. Ooh! Garouk. And... Ooh! A Foil Garouk. We're doing pretty good for files today. I'll put that in my sleeve. I bet he'd be worth something. That would be nice. Yeah. I'm really happy about that. I gotta put him up here. And Escape to the Wilds, which I don't know about. Sorry. Okay, let's keep going. I wonder if these tokens are worth anything. I don't know. Ooh, Questing Beast. Doing pretty good there. I'm gonna have to put that in his sleeve right now. Hey. Nice box. See, maybe I should always drop the box on the floor. Bang a little luck into it. 
Love Struck Beast. Oh, this is like the beast from Beauty and the Beast. There you go. And Beanstalk Giant. Ooh, Deafening Silence. I know that this is one of the more valuable commons. Uncommons. It's like a... It's modern playable and stuff. Oh. Clean up these piles a little bit. There you go. And next we've got... Uh, True Love's Kiss. But, ooh, another Once Upon a Time. That's nice. We'll go with our foil. There you go. Sweet. Nice. Joust, foil, and a Feverant Champion. I don't know what those are. Those are rare or not. Rat token, but like a cute rat. <laughs> uh, Feasting Troll King. I don't think that's worth anything. There you go. Alright, this one looks like a... Fires of Invention. No, not sure about that. I don't think... We'll see. It's very, you know, it's still the pre-release, and everything in standard is rotating right now. So, you never know what's going to become valuable. It's hard to tell early on. Ooh, the Magic Mirror. I think this is one of those not great mythics, but uh, there you go. Here's the Enchanted Carriage from, like, Cinderella. That's cool, right? And look, baked into a pie. I love this card. Shining Armor, and Vontress Gargoyle. I don't know if those... Look at the art on this guy. That's cool, right? I got Rumpelstiltskin or something. I yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but if I hadn't, we can pull this voiceover. But, um... Throne of Eldraine is a classic fairy tale set. Ooh, Stone Coil Serpent. I'm going to be something. And it's... Uh, it's a standard European uh, fairy tale set, and there's also Arthurian legend. So it's classic German and other parts of Europe fairy tales with a heavy knight's theme for the Arthurian legends. And, uh, well, that's cool. Piper of the Swarm. This is Pied Piper. There you go. I saw a Pinocchio card the other day. I mean, earlier in the day. Um, oh, there's like the Golden Goose. That's a card. I forgot one of those. Hansel and Gretel. Oh, another kind of not great mythic. Cauldron of Eternity. All right, let's keep going through these. Time's a waste. We're on to the last 12. Let's see if we get anything else good. Otherwise, we've got other boxes. Dance of the Mance. Huh. Silly. Shambling suit and wish claw talisman. Never heard of it. Right, here we go. Oath sworn knight. This might be worth a little bit. I don't know. I gotta see. Castle Vontris. Not super happy about that. Let's see. Let's get another good card in here. There's a Mythic Planeswalker besides Garrett. 
and he's a little bit better. Hushbringer, cool art. I don't know if it's valuable though. There you go. Fay of Wishes, not super valuable. Emery, Lurker of the Loch. Lock? La it's Lock, like Loch Ness. There you go. Greymar. We're almost done, everyone. Seven Dwarves. Oh, no, that's just a regular. Black Lance Paragon. Cool. Alright. Last two packs. Lock Mare Serpent. Not great. Oh well. And let's see what happens in our last pack. Real slow on this one. Ready? Bam! Opportunistic dragon. Well, there you have it. Throne of Eldraine. Gonna be a good set.